Hey guys, so I've had a lot of people asking me to make videos specifically on how to uninstall BleemSync. And I do want to make a uh, mention here, there's no reason really to uninstall BleemSync. Uh, it's just something people want to do in the event that they want to restore their system back to stock. And the, uh, the process is actually quite easy. Uh, what we're going to need for this is we're going to need a USB drive that we know is compatible with uh, the PlayStation Classic in terms of the power output. So this is any USB stick that you would have used prior to the OTG uh, build. So anything that was working when you're plugging it into the front of the USB port on the Player 2 port, we know that is going to be compatible. So we're going to go ahead and pop that into our computer and then we're going to go ahead and navigate to the modmyclassic.com website. And I'll leave links uh, to all of this in the description down below, but we just need to scroll down uh, to the section where it gives us information on how to uninstall BleemSync. And it's relatively quick, relatively simple. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to download uh, an uninstaller image, then we're gonna unzip the image file, we're gonna put it onto our computer and then burn that image using Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager or something like that onto the USB stick. And then we're just gonna pop that into the front port of uh, port number two of our PlayStation Classic. Make sure everything else is unplugged, no power, no HDMI, nothing. You're gonna plug in the power and you're gonna press the power button once. Uh, and then as soon as that happens, it'll just take a little while, but everything should go back out and back to orange and then you're done. And uh, that's pretty much uninstalling it. So we've had some people ask about the backup files that we made when we installed BleemSync 1.1. We do not need to use those files. Uh, they were not there specifically to uninstall. They are only there in the event that you corrupt your PlayStation Classic. If you end up in a situation where the software itself gets corrupt, you would then use those backup files. You should still keep them safe even if you're going to uninstall it. But for this specific uninstall to get rid of BleemSync off your PlayStation Classic, you do not need uh, those backup files. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and grab our uninstall image here. I'm just going to click that. We're gonna save that right to our desktop. It's nice and small, okay, it's all finished. So I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize that and I'm gonna grab my file right over here. I'm gonna right click on that file. I'm gonna extract it here. And of course, went over to the other side. Sorry, I just gotta pull it over from my other screen. And there it is there. So now we've got our image file here. And I've got, uh, here I'll show it to you guys really quickly. I've got my USB already plugged in and I've gone ahead and made sure that it was formatted to FAT32. So it's right here. Um, it's right over here. And uh, so this 32 gig USB drive I know is compatible. I've gone ahead and formatted it. If you need to, you just right click, click format, and then you're gonna format it to FAT32. Um, and then in terms of the volume label, it's not important because when you write the image, it'll rename it anyways. Um, I'm not gonna format it because I've already done that, but just to show you guys, that's all you need to do. Next, what we need to do is we need to open up a software. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use Etcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Etcher, double click on that, and we don't need... All right, perfect, here's Etcher. What we need to do is we need to select our image, and in this case, we are gonna go over to our desktop, and we're just gonna select the uninstall image right here. And then we have to choose our target location. Okay, so now I've got my SanDisk Cruiser Fit USB drive right over here. This is the uh, the drive that I just formatted. Uh, as you guys can see, I've got a two terabyte external hard drive connected in here as well. I do not want to override that. I want to do the USB stick. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then all that's left to do is hit the flash button. Once we press that, it'll take a few minutes and and it'll start working its way through. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part so you guys don't have to watch it. And I'll get back to you guys in just a quick second. All right guys, so it says flash complete, that is done. We are done with Etcher, we can go ahead and close that. Uh, next, all that we need to do is unplug our uh, USB stick from our computer and we need to pop that into our PlayStation Classic. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, show you guys how to plug it into the PlayStation Classic. So I will be right back in just one second. Okay guys, so we've got our PlayStation Classic here and we've got our USB drive that is loaded up with our uninstall image. All we need to do is pop this into the USB 2 port uh, and keeping in mind, nothing else is connected in. There's no HDMI, there's no power. And once that uh, USB is connected into the front port, you're gonna need to pop in your HDMI cable first. 
and then you're gonna to wanna to pop in your power cord. Now it's very important to note that your power cord must be connected to an electrical outlet. You can't have it connected to your PC because when you uninstall it, it will uh, remove the uh, drivers and the kernel that allowed it to connect to the PC in the first place. So if you have it connected to the PC, it's just not gonna work for you. You're gonna end up failing the uninstall. So make sure it's connected to the power. And then once it's connected, you wait for the orange light to come on, you press the power button, it literally takes a few seconds, it'll power itself off, and you'll end up with the console completely powered off. All you need to do is unplug the console, plug it back in, and you are good to go, you are back to stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the PlayStation Classic now and show you guys that. All right guys, so here we are on our PlayStation Classic with the absolute original stock software. Bleem Sync is no longer loaded. You can try to go ahead and pop your OTG adapter in the back. It will not work. Uh, we are right on back to our stock OS. So one thing I do wanna mention is that there is the chance when you uninstall the kernel uh, and you resort back to the stock kernel on the PlayStation Classic that you will lose or you may lose save states. Uh, in my case, I didn't lose any save states, uh, and that's maybe just luck of the draw on that, but there is a possibility that you will end up losing those save states. So do keep that in mind. Um, if you do have some games that you have uh, saved and you're concerned about it, uh, you may end up losing that. So just be prepared for that. But that's, that's it, guys. This is, uh, now we are back to our stock PlayStation Classic. That is how you uninstall Bleem Sync 1.1 uh, and remove the custom kernel that you've installed on there uh, and you're you're good to go So uh, thank you so very much for watching the video Make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys again real soon